Number 52. A boat is dropped from a bridge under construction, falling 90 meters to the valley below the bridge. Letter A. In how much time does it pass through the last 20% of its fall? So let's start from letter A. So this is a bridge over here. This is the bridge. The very beautiful bridge. And then we have a boat that is falling. And we want to know in the last 20% of the fall, so in the last 20%, how long does it take for the boat to pass this 20%? So what is our strategy here? We want to calculate the time that it took to travel the first 8% and then we will calculate the time it took to do 100% of the trajectory and then we just make the difference that's what we wanna that's what we will do here so remember that this is a, an, an exercise of constant acceleration and when we have constant acceleration there are three different equations that we can use they are x equal to x0 plus v0 t plus a t squared over 2 we also have v equals to v0 plus a t and we have v squared equals to v0 squared plus 2 times a delta x. So those are the three equations that we can use. In this exercise, we will use, I guess, only this equation over here. And then you can replace x by y because we are, we are talking about heights over here. Let's say that in the ground it's 0 meters, so y equals to 0 at the ground. And let's say that upwards is the positive direction. So at the top of the bridge, it should be 90 meters. So let's make the calculations for the first 8% of the fall. So the final position over here is 90. The 20% of 90. So 20% of 90 is 90 divided by 5 which is equal to 18 meters. So the initial position, y o is 90 meters. The final position is 18 meters. So the initial velocity is zero. So this term over here is zero. The acceleration of gravity is minus 9.8. And why minus 0.8? Because we choose that Upwards is positive, so downwards is negative, and the acceleration points downwards. So t is what we want to know, this over 2. So we have that minus 72 equals to minus 4.9 times t squared. So t would be the square root of 72 over 4.9 and this is equal to 3.83 seconds so this is the time that it takes for the boat to travel the first 80 percent of of the the, the 90 meters so for a hundred percent we will do the same thing However, now the, the final position is zero. The initial position is 90 minus 4.9 t squared. So t is equal to the square root of 90 over 4.9. And this would be 4.29 seconds. So this is 100% and this is 80%. So if you want to know 20%, let's call it t 20%, this would be equal to 4.29 minus 3.83. And this is equal to, let's see, roughly 0 0.45 seconds. 0 0.40 or six seconds, right? 0 0.46 seconds, roughly. So this is the answer of letter A. In letter B, it says, what is its speed when it begins that last 20% of the fall? It is 
pretty easy. We can use the second equation over here and the, the, the velocity this or, or the speed is v equals to v0 plus a t. So the, the, the final velocity is equal to the initial velocity, which is 0 minus 9.8 times the time it took to reach that position. That is 3.83. 3.83 and then we find that it is about 38 meters per second minus 38 meters per second this is the velocity and let us see the velocity when it reaches the valley so we will use this time over here 4.29 so the velocity is exactly the same equation so it's zero minus 9.8 times 4.29 and this is equal to roughly 42 minus 42 meters per second this is the velocity over here this is the answer of this exercise